I wanted to visit a little bit today about the difference between blown in walls and, and batted walls. Most of the times if you're using a high density bat to achieve an R15 and a two x four cavity, that bat might cost you, let's just say 60 cents after tax from your supplier. If you then back out and look at your blown in cost for that same two x four wall and figure your bag cost, divide it by the 75 square feet per bag that you get from um, Owens Corning L77, add the labor for the netting, add the netting, and add the labor to blow, you're within pennies of your R15 bat price installed. One of the great things about blowing walls, I have far less SKUs to store in my warehouse. Most all my walls are blown, so I'm able to carry fewer SKUs, save time and, and money that way. I have stacks of the, the material that I use. I use less space in my warehouse. I'm able to use it more for other products. I think one key of blowing walls is it starts with the, the bidding process. If a builder is batting his walls, we will give him a bid that shows our price for bats in his walls. And then we'll show an upgrade of how much more to blow your walls with L77 at such and such R value. I don't remember a, a case where I have blown a wall for a builder and he has not noticed a difference. Not all builders are willing to pay for that upgrade, unfortunately. I've got some that price is the only factor. When I talk to a builder, I love to talk about value. What adds value to your house? Uh, builders who are using foam are used to paying a high price for their houses. Um, I can come in and show a builder how I can do just as good a job on an air exchange ratio with fiberglass and lower his cost of his insulation. Um, that adds value to the builder. Mm -hmm.